Look how much this primer blurred this side of my face. <gasps> it's the L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect Blurring Face Primer. Let's test out this primer on an orange. Okay, so on this side, I'm gonna apply the primer first and then foundation, and then on this side, I'm just gonna apply the foundation and we're gonna compare the two sides. Okay, let's rub it in. This is so weird. <laughs> Okay, here's the side without primer, and then the side with primer, I mean, there's a noticeable difference. Let's finish off my face. It diffuses the skin and gives a soft focus effect, which we can clearly see. Look how blurred it looks, like a filter. Now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Freshwear Foundation. Okay, my makeup went on so smooth. I'm definitely seeing that soft focus blurring effect. Let me know what you guys think. I really like this. Like, look how flawless my station is $350. $350. It's the Clay de Peau The Foundation. It's just called The Foundation. That sounds expensive. Okay, so when you open it, it comes with this thing. I don't know what this is, but it looks fancy. It's a stand for the foundation. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it smells very perfumey, like very floral. This feels like a science project or something. Okay, I'm going to use this tiny spatula and just put it right on my face. Okay, this better make me look extremely flawless. Hmm. It's like medium coverage. Ugh. Okay, I can't even lie. This looks really pretty. Pretty, but I don't think any foundation is worth this much. I'm going out with my friends tonight, so I want to look super bronzy and glowy. So I'm going to use the Iconic London Prep Set Tan Tanning Mist. First of all, look how pretty that is. I'm using the shade Glow. The applicator brush is so soft. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to start off with my chest. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm going to buff it in using the brush. Buffing it up my neck. This applicator makes it so easy to buff this in. My face and blend that in. Shoulders and arms, of course. This is probably the easiest and quickest self-tanner I've ever used. It's formulated with hyaluronic acid, which is gonna hydrate the skin and make your tan last longer. And because it's so moisturizing, it's not gonna catch on to any dry skin like around your knees or your ankles. I'm already looking glowy, but I'm gonna let this develop for a bit and I'll be back. I'm back, I'm ready, and I'm nice and bronzy and glowy. I'm obsessed. Look at this. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay, before I completely set my face, I have to show you guys this product. I got them in the mail the other day. They're the new Item Beauty Hey High Halo Liquid Highlighters. I swatched it on my hand and was a little shook. Like, look how pretty that is. Look at that. It's not like glittery or sparkly. It's just like glowy, which I love. Look how pretty that is. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> Like, it just adds the prettiest, like, healthiest glow to your skin. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, just for comparison, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight Wand right here, and this is the Item Beauty one. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say the shade. Wait, what is it? Hold on, where did I put it? It's the shade Electric. It looks so pretty on the collarbones, too. Oh my gosh. I'm slightly obsessed with this, I'm not gonna lie. You guys have to try it. So apparently, this was Kim Kardashian's favorite lip combo in the early 2000s. Okay, I'm not 100% sure about the lip liner, but I read online somewhere that she liked Strip Down by MAC. It's a really pretty brownie nude, and this is like a classic MAC lip liner, and I've never tried it before, shockingly. Then apparently one of her favorite lipsticks was Max Angel, and I actually used to wear this lipstick all the time. I just had a little nub left, and it was old, so I bought a fresh one, and I'm really excited to try this again. It's a pretty pinky nude and it's a frost finish. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So pretty, I love the little sheen it has. Now I remember why I used to love this so much. Then I read online that she would top this off with the NARS lip gloss in the shade Turkish Delight. Okay, I actually love this combo. I might be wearing this from now on. Let me know what you guys think. I don't feel like I need makeup. A lot of the time I'm not wearing makeup, but no, I need makeup. This is Kylie's favorite cool toned pink blush. It's in the shade Winter Kiss. It's one of my favorites too. So let's use it today. It's the perfect baby doll pink. It's so cute. You guys know I love a lot of blush. I like blending all the way up under my eye. And this blush looks so cute when you do that. Look how perfect. 
Look how perfect it is. Look at the difference. Look how pretty. I love this blush. This blush will literally give you those Kylie cheeks. I mean, it's her favorite. Let me know what you guys think. I love this blush. Guys, look at this highlighter. Just wait. Look at it. I don't even like highlighter, but this is converting me. It is the prettiest highlighter I think I've ever tried. I don't even wear highlight on my cheeks, but I have been since I got this. Look at it. It's so pretty. I'm in love with it. It's the Sigma highlighter in the shade Twilight. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on my cheeks. Use this Sigma brush also. What is it? The F03 brush. So watch this. Look how pretty it is. Look. <gasps> I don't even like highlighter, but I like it now because of this. I swear. Look how pretty it is. Mm. I put it also like on my shoulders, like down my arm. Look at that. On my collarbone. It is so pretty. Anyways, if you're looking for a good highlighter, this one is beautiful. Laura Mercier has a new pink setting powder. You guys know I love pink powders, so let's try this out. And we'll compare it to these Huda Beauty powders in the shade Cupcake and Cherry Blossom. I love the original to set like my whole face, so I have no doubt that I'll like this, but is it pink enough? I haven't even looked at it yet, so let's see. Okay, it's definitely pink. I think more on the peachy side. Let's compare it to the Huda. Okay, so here's Cupcake. It definitely is very close to Cupcake. It's hard to see on camera, but in person, this is a little bit more peachier pink. And here is Cherry Blossom. This is way more pink. So let's try this. Maybe you guys can see a little bit better this way. See how similar they are? It's supposed to give a soft focus look and be very blurring. And it definitely is. It's also super brightening. Look how blurred that looks. Definitely not super pink like Cherry Blossom is, but it does have that pinky tone and is still very brightening. I just love how blurring it is. What do you think? Check this out. It is insane. It instantly blurs your skin, mattifies you, and makes you look... <laughs> I okay, I have to try this. It's the Nude Sticks Blot and Blur Matte Stick. Let's see. <gasps> Oh my god. Whoa. <gasps> oh my gosh. I have extremely oily skin and I love looking matte. So this is a 10 out of 10 for me. It mattifies, but it really does blur your skin too. Look at that. Okay, I'm impressed. Wow, look how blurred my skin looks. It looks so even. And matte. Wow, I really like this. It's not like overly mattifying. It still leaves like a little bit of a glow, but it is very blurring. What do you guys think? This has to be the cutest blush I have ever seen in my life. So I got this at Ulta Beauty when I was in LA. It's by the brand Winky Lux, and it's a cream blush. It looks like a rose. Look how pretty that is. And this is the shade Cheeky Rose. So let's try it out. Like, I can't get over how pretty it is. I don't even want to touch it. It's so pretty. I want them in, like, every single color. I saw this on TikTok actually a while ago, and when I saw it at the store, I was like, oh my god, I need to get it. So I think I'm going to apply it with a brush. It wasn't really coming off on the brush, so I'm just going to use my finger. Look how pretty that is. <gasps> okay, I'm just blending it out with my brush. Look how pretty that is. I love the shade. I applied this side with the brush and it obviously works. I think I was just worried about ruining it, but honestly, it doesn't even really get ruined. It holds its shape pretty well. Okay, this is very pretty and the packaging makes it that much prettier. I love this. Let me know what you guys think. This is the lipstick that Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, wore on her wedding day. And apparently, it's her favorite lipstick. It's the Bobbi Brown lip color in the shade Sand Wash Pink. Let's try it out. Apparently she's a huge fan of Bobbi Brown and this is actually the face chart from her wedding makeup and she did her makeup herself. Okay, I think first let's try it without a lip liner just to kind of see what it looks like fully on its own. First, let's try it without any lip liner to see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, it's so pretty. It's the perfect like pinky nude and it has a little bit of like a frosty, like shiny finish. I feel so weird without lip liner. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a lip liner and let's see what it looks like. Okay, I think it's so pretty and it's clearly princess approved, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, in part one, I applied all of this. So let's blend this out. I'm praying 
that this looks okay because I need to go out after this. Okay, let's start off with this contour area and see how that goes. Okay, so far, not too bad. You see, this is the part I don't like or understand. I'm blending out the nose, my foundation, and I feel like I need to clean up this mouth area and the contour. It's kind of working. Okay, why is this actually looking good? It's actually looking good. Like, look how blended that looks. I'm surprised. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, concealer and blush. Let's see. I like mixing my blush. You guys, you've seen it. I like mixing my blush with my concealer anyways. So this part I'm not too worried about. I don't love blush on the forehead. I've never really done that before, but let's see okay here's everything blended out it honestly looks pretty good i'm not mad at it the only thing the blush kind of faded away but yeah i'm not mad at it it looks pretty good i'm gonna set this all with powder and i will be right back okay here's everything set with powder and i'm pretty impressed it honestly looks pretty good better than i thought would i do this again though probably not i still prefer my normal routine let me know what you guys think though that was fun So I'm downtown at a really nice hotel right now with MAC Cosmetics Canada. I'm going to a TIFF event with them. I have to redo my face makeup. They gave me a bunch of makeup I'm going to show you. So let's get ready. Let's redo my makeup. Look at all the makeup they gave me. I'm definitely going to be using some of this. And look how cute this little makeup bag with an A on it. Okay, I just took off my face makeup and I'm completely restarting it because I want it to look super fresh. So this is one of my favorite primers, the MAC mattifying primer and i actually needed a new one so thank god i really needed this it is so good it literally keeps me matte all night put it mostly in my t-zone and like where i get super oily then i have the studio fix fluid with svf 15 in the shade nc20 i don't know if this is gonna match me mm, let's see okay i just mixed a little bit of my foundation that i brought in with it and it actually looks perfect Oh my god, my room service just got here. Let me show you. 
I got a chicken sandwich and fries and an iced tea. Like, it is in moments like these that I'm like, wow, this is my life. I'm shook and I'm so grateful, truly. Okay, so they also gave me this pale p yellow, pale pink Studio Fix Conceal and Correct palette. So maybe we can use some of this concealer. I think I'm just going to try going right in with my brush. Oh wow. And popping that under my eyes. I used to use this all the time in makeup school. <gasps> look how bright and pretty my under eyes look. Okay, the creams are done. So now I'm going to set everything in place with the new Max Fix Plus Stay Over Setting Spray. You guys know I like to set my creams and then set the powder again at the end. Look, I even got a fan. <clears throat> okay, I just finished off the rest of my makeup. Look how pretty. So I just have to finish my lips. I'm going to use um, the shade Angel. I love this one. Just in the center, just a little bit. Mix in just a little bit of my MAC Exelina lipstick because that one's my favorite ever. And now I'm just adding a little extra bronzer. Okay, now let's lock this all in place. Okay, I just finished my makeup. Now I have to do my hair and change. Okay, so this is my outfit. I'm wearing this really cute little blazer dress. It's so cute. I'm wearing my little sparkly nude heels with this. I'll show you them in a second. But how cute here is my outfit this lighting is disgusting but it's so cute <laughs>